You can make a U grid using the grid frame by mapping to it, select quad tree, and you can get a coarse grid like this. If you go back to U grid, map to, and then increase the number of cells, you can get a finer grid that's just uh, squares or rectangles similar to the 3D grid. You can take a look at these two grids, um, turn them on or turn them off. Both of them are created and can be selected. Now we want to refine the grid and we'll first refine it around the well, adjust the refinement, turn on the refinement in the attributes, and then go back to the, well, then we need to select the, a, a coverage that covers the whole region hydraulic connectivity does that and then we map the grid we'll have a coarse grid um, in general but then the selection the setup will refine the grid around the well and there you can see the refinement with a quad tree type of refinement so we can look at this in 3d that quad tree grid is projected all the way through the grid Another option is to set up the quad tree grid and use an oct tree um, limitation that will, this, this will project the grid only through the upper layer. And you can see that this refinement of the grid uh, does not project down through the bottom. You can't see each individual layer, but you can see that it doesn't project all the way through. It's actually only in the upper layer. Now we're gonna refine the grid around the stream so we select the stream, the coverage, uh, we select refinement, and then in attributes, we go in and refine it. So a base to a base size of 10. Um, and we go and check refinement. And now we go and go to the grid frame, map to U grid, and we select the same quad tree grid. And there's the refined grid around the stream. And you can see this is projected all, all the way through all the layers. And we can revise that and project it only um, into the upper layer. And you can see that case. Switch between them. And you can see under the U grid over in the Project Explorer, we have um, all of the grids that we've created. We can select them or unselect them. Okay, so now we're going to run the model. So we added mod flow. We mapped the mod flow to the grid. Um, and then we ran it. And you can see now the simulation with the refined grid around the stream and around the well. So now we're going to make another refined grid. This uses a nested grid and the default nested grid looks like this. The base size grid is made uh, just within the um, column and row that the, the stream and the well are, are in. So we can set that up um, and run it by adding mod flow to that grid. And we run it and we can take a look at the results. There are the results. You can see that the stream is over on the left-hand side of the fine grids and we get pretty good detail where the grid is fine, but not so good where it's um, coarse. So now we're gonna use a different kind of refined grid where we put in a new coverage that's used just to set up the grid and check off refinement. And I put in some polygons. There's a polygon over the whole region. And then there are, there are polygons around the stream. And I can set up the grid size in each one of the polygons. So this one around the stream has a size of 25. Around the well, it'll have a smaller size of 10. 
And now when I go and map it to you grid, using the nested grid, I get grid blocks of the size that I specified around the different elements. And so now I go and add mod flow to this grid and set it up and map it to the um, map the coverages to the new mod flow setup, the new mod flow equations, and then I can run it. And one thing to keep in mind is that the grid making process with the UGrid is separate from the mod flow setup and execution. The grids we can make and check them out and use them for simulations or not. Um, in this case, we ran it and you can see um, the results. Just turning off the grid um, cell edges to show the results a little bit better. And now I'm going to change the formatting of the contours. You can see the contours are nice and smooth where the grid is refined and they get a little more jagged where the grid is, is coarser. And I'm also going to turn off the flooded cells. Those are those little blue triangles. Um, and you can see the results a little bit better now.